Today we are going to create a view application. Hello guys! Today we are going to create a Vue.js application. Probably most of you already know that Vue is going to grow as a really popular front-end framework. So let's check it out! Okay, so let's start. I'm going to install Vue CLI right now and I'm going to install it globally. In this tutorial I will use Yarn, but you can use NPM if you feel more comfortable with it. So let's start. I will install Vue CLI with the following command. Great, it's installed right now. Let's now select the folder where we would like to place our application and navigate there. In my case, it's app folder. Now I'm going to create a new application using CLI. For this, I will use view create and the name of my application command. In my case, it will be tutorial, but you can feel free to name your application whatever you want. Now we need to select a preset if we would like default or if we would like to create it manually. Do not overcomplicate, let's select default and enter. Great, it seems like project is created successfully. So here we have a few commands. And this is what we have to do next to start our application. So let's go to the folder. And now yarn serve to start the app. If you used npm, probably you will have information here how to use it with npm. Great, it's ready. So our application is running on localhost port 8080. It's the default port, but of course you can select any different port if you would like to. Let's check it out. Great, it works. Now let's check what's inside the code. I'm using my VS Code extension, but of course you can open it normally from the folder. So, probably our main important files are inside source folder. Let's navigate there. AppView is our main file where we import other components. Here we have, for example, our Hello World component imported. Let's check how Hello World component looks like. So here we are. Inside our Hello World view component, we have three parts, template, script and styles. Inside the template part, we are putting HTML template of our feature or website or component. Inside the script tags, we are putting all the JavaScript which is needed. And inside, inside the style tags, we are putting CSS code. Uh, also, we can add scoped attribute to the style uh, tags. And then the CSS code is applying only for the component here. Okay, let's create a new component, which will be our main component, because we don't need this hello world component. So I'm creating users component. Okay, and I will create these three parts, template, script, and styles.
Okay, so we have three parts of the component. Now let's add some HTML code like header, for example. We will check if, if it works. So let's add h3, users, and close h3. Great. Now we need to initialize our users component. So export default and name users. And for now, we don't need anything else. We don't want to apply any additional styles right now. So what do we have to do to see this component inside the browser? We have to import it inside our app view, so our main component. In our case, we don't want to have hello world file anymore, so let's just delete it or replace it. Oh, and we also don't need this logo here, so let's delete it. Here, let's replace it to users. Up is the same, so users. Great. And the component right now is users. Fine. And here we don't want hello world component and we will change it to users. Great. Let's check if it works. Voila, it works. Next thing which we are going to do is fetching data from our fake online API. I'm using JSON placeholder, something like this. We are going to use users endpoint and we will get this kind of data. We will do our REST API call using Axios. And this is why we have to install Axios into our project. So let's go back to the console and let's install Axios using command yarn add Axios or you can find the command with npm. It's ready. So now let's go back to the code. Let's import Axios and create a space where we are going to create our API request. So here inside the script, we are going to import Axios. Great. So what we want to do now is to create place to keep our data. Data. And we will call it users and assign to the null. Great. Okay, now let's create an API call inside the created hook. A yeah, function, Axios, get, and our URL. Let's copy paste. Okay. And then let's save our data to the users. Okay, so rest arrow function and let's save it. These users to rest data. Okay. Seems like our call is ready now. So now let's build some template. Maybe a table will be a great idea to show this data. In this case, I would like to use Bootstrap because I'll get a ready elements for my website. 
let's go to the Bootstrap website and let's get the link to the styles. Okay, copy. Now we have to put it inside our HTML main file, which is inside public folder. Okay, and just above the title. Okay, let's save, great. Now let's look for a table. Inside the content there are tables and yes, this one looks good. We need only one row so we will just copy this part. Okay, let's paste and let's close it. The body table. Okay, cool. And remember to put our template into one element. Let's give our div a class, a container, to make it good looking. Let's close. Okay, let's check if it works. It works. But I think our header is a little bit too close to the table, so let's add some styles. Inside style, tags, we will put some styles for H3. Let's add margin bottom to 5%. Okay, let's see. Yep, looks pretty well. Okay. Let's put our data inside the table right now. We will place here ID, name, email address and the city. Let's take a look one more time at the data structure. ID, name, email address and city is here. For this, we will use v4 directive. It's something like map but a little bit more easy. And let's a key element with v bind key. And we will assign our user ID to the key. Great. So just change this ID. name, email, and the city. Cool. And now, so, user ID, remember to put double curly braces, username, user email and here user address city. Cool. Let's check it out. It seems like it works pretty nice actually. So our Vue.js application with REST API and Bootstrap seems to be ready. I hope you like our tutorial. If yes, leave us a thumb up. If you have any questions, leave a comment below this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe this channel and visit our website. Hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!